I have what other things going on. Uh, mangoes are flowering. That's the Pickering mango. There is some uh, mango setting. You can see the lower mangoes. Uh, definitely we could feel it here, at least I don't know a new area, but the weather was more rainy and whatnot and then it's like not as many mango setting as last year for sure um, lower side but I'd be fine if our family can taste it and maybe we can even share some if there is more and uh, the um, finally the Rolinia or uh, Biriba Um, started to push out new new um, leaves and uh, like it was really nice that we didn't have too cold uh, days the very cold days so that helps the only thing that um, the winter rolinia it's not the same like even though it produces year year round it does not seem to have the sweetness the seeds are not maturing enough um, and the, the flesh is affected and vice versa so it's not like super good right now like when it ripens uh, even when it's yellow it's not the same as the summer one and the autumn one so more fast look at how pretty i have these for years and I just put it out and they're doing well. Oh, the vanilla orchid um, pushing out um, flower spikes, you see? There's so many. This is a new one actually um, on the on the yellow cacao and uh, the, uh, the older one it's on the loqua tree. Bananas are all over the flowers and bananas, more bananas coming out over there, over the fence. They have to mature. They have to take their time and mature. Yellow ciruela started to flower now. So many loquats. This is the champagne loquats. I'm actually juicing it. It's supposed to be really good for you. Uh, the only thing that you know i don't use any chemicals in the garden so uh we get a lot of like you have to watch out for worms in this one but they are not big they are not like the guava worms or the um the guava worms ugh, i don't like but um or the papaya worms they are like so big like they are like on steroids or something they are different very big ones other than that, oh, I wanted to show you this dendrobium. Look at how pretty. Um, we'll be, oh my gosh, and the smell is going to be so good. This one. Um, it's just the naked cane now. and You see the flower buds. It's going to be so pretty. And I love the new growth of the achachairu. Oh yes, um, the new growth, actually the aphids love it. You see, I have to clean that one off. I can do it with my fingers or I can do the with the, the stream of water or hopefully some ladybug is gonna find the food source. <laughs> but yeah, they are looking so good. Oh, look at the little neem. Yeah, I was reading this neem the other night, like it's amazing, like, um, village pharmacy they call it because of the you can use it for so many things other oh, lychee here tamarind more orchids flowering over there lemon meringue mango still no signs of flowering yet oh look at the pineapple pushing out the flower we're gonna have some pineapples this year we have so many flowers coming in and 
and this one is the jabuticaba flowering also i picked the fruit the other day i really love it can't wait to wait uh, to have enough fruit to make wine looking forward to that Oh, I put in a lot of mulch, like I was, we were working a lot with the mulch. It breaks down very quickly in Florida. You almost need it. It cools down. Summertime, it cools down. The soil cools down the roots. Um, Wintertime, it keeps the roots warm. Um, it's just, it's a really good. Um, it, it's almost like I, like I said, for the Florida sand you almost need it it breaks down to black rich soil so it's for me it works out very well and like you can see everything loves it like all the fruit trees and all the plants are like happy as can be because of it some figs they don't get a whole lot of sunlight here oh um this is a savannah cherry eugenia and you can see the little fruits are growing now there's a little dot inside so it was flowering and oh yeah let me show you a flower they are kind of pretty they are simple but they are so pretty to me at least look at how pretty they are and then also the pitanga tuba um over there the other side um it's fruiting um it was pollinated and it's now the fruit is growing and the jackfruits oh they are growing I'm so happy very nice look at those little jackfruits they're so green sometimes hard to see them but you can see they are growing right now exciting The low, uh, sorry, the long end. It's it's a kohala long end, and it's also flowering this year. On top, I love long end too. A bu seedling, tomatoes. Oh, I wanted to show you. Oh, this uh, pineapple is also flowering. Oh, look at the tomatoes. Oh, very nice. I can pick these soon. A very sweet kind, this tomato wine. Strawberry fruit tree. Intentia carabura. Um, that's a Spanish lime to the right from Dexter. Puppy dog. And a Thai eggplant. It's kind of pokey. Um, I have to cut it back, it's not perfect. Oh, this one is the green chateau, um, Australian king mulberry, or green chateau. Let me see. These are so sweet. Pigeon peas. Kids are loving it with rice. Brown sugar fruit. I picked a good amount yesterday. It's a very delicious fruit if you like sweet fruit. This one is a must. How oh, you can see the. This is a, a custard apple seedling tree. You can see the custard apple in the mid picture. Another jackfruit tree. This one is the golden nugget. And then. This is the sour sap. We have so many fruit setting. And this year, like this one is the new growth already. Um, we didn't have a very cold winter, thank God. And it's just like, what a difference. Like all the fruit setting over here, you see so many fruit sets right now because of it. I really enjoy it. Another dendrobium, look at how pretty. Like it turns like more orangish as it matures, but it came came out like lighter. 
Love it. Oh yeah, there's so many little sour stuff. And then now I can see it because the the tree is kind of like very um, not naked, but you know, like with the new growth, I can see it better. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to see it. Very pretty. Everything, I love it. That's my favorite part, uh, time of the day when I can walk the garden. It's amazing. More pineapple. Goji berry, some more um, bananas growing, the mango flowering outside. There's two kinds of mango. I, I grafted uh, Malika on a seedling. The seedling mango is really good, but it get the strings, get the the one that is going. It's kind of like a floss going into your between your teeth. Um, Good cola, caimito, uh, pitanga tuba seedling, more pineapple. This is the sugar loaf pineapple, mamey sapote, more pineapple here. See, they are so pretty, the flower too. And weed, <laughs> weed all over. You know, I hand weed the garden. Pitanga tuba here. You see? Yeah, it's flowering and looks like we're gonna have some fruits. Looking forward to it. Maybe with some miracle fruit because <laughs> it can get a little on the sour side. Vampy. Look at how pretty is that leaf. Looks like uh, somebody made it like all shiny. There's no water on it. There's no extra light on it. And look at those leaves. Gorgeous. Hibiscus. And I see the Barbados cherry started to flower as well. Yes, look at those little flowers. Now I have to... Um, trim back these hibiscus. I have to do a lot, as a matter of fact, soon. Plumerias. Um, just have to get to it. Have to get to it. But yeah, everything looking good. A oh, little citrus. This one doing okay. I got it, I think, from Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember which place a while back. And finally started to um, um, set some fruits. I have to cut down this uh, tropical sage so it can get more light. But yeah, they all, they all nice. I'm very happy with everything. Keep it that way, Gordon. Keep it that way. <laughs> All right. Look at the long end flowers. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right, guys. See you later. Wanted to quick share this one. Look at this. Cattleya, I believe. This one, Cattleya orchid. Epidendrum. But that's what's ripening. That's what's fruiting right now. See you guys later. Have a good day.